Okay. Um, let's have a look at um, so, somebody raised a question on um, Reddit about the way uh, Git. Can he sit down? The way the way Git um, deals with um, commits. I asked, does it store effectively? Does it store just the deltas? So let's take a look at that. Uh, let's create a, uh, a, a Git repository. Now, the thing we're interested in uh, is this objects directory down here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's just buy, let's create a text file and in there put one, two, three. Okay. Now, then, when we do git add, Okay, what you'll see is it will create an object. Now, this object B859, okay, is uh, this text file, okay, um, and uh, you can do something like uh, if I can remember how to do it, uh, cat file, uh, pretty print, and uh, what is it? B, oops, uh, B. Eight, uh, five, nine, five, nine. Okay, and we get the contents of the file. So we can see that that's the that's the file that's been added. Now, you will notice that, that happened when I did the git add. The other thing that changed um, is is this index. Um, okay. And uh, it's complete nonsense because I'm an idiot. Um, but the, the, the index, though, uh, is effectively uh, what you see when you do this. OK, it's this text file. It's just pointing to the text file. That's all it does at the moment. OK, so now if we commit that. Uh, actually, no, before I do that, let me let me just create another file because um, I want to show the what happens globally uh, so we'll call it we'll put abc in this one uh, okay and we'll just add that as well okay. and now we've got two objects okay so this three seven uh three seven seven four is the e1 and five nine is the um uh the original t1 okay so we've now got two things scheduled to be added so if i now just commit those okay now then so what's happened now well several things uh let me just Mm. Mm. I can't remember how to do this. Oh, not that way. It's going to get bigger, going to get smaller, so I can see what's going on. Sorry if I've made this too small, but we need to be able to see what's going on. So, um, yeah, we've got this object. Actually, I, I suppose what I could do to make more room is, whoops, uh, I can get rid of that hooks directory because I don't need it. Um, right, OK, so now we can see what, what's going on. And I can enlarge it a little bit. OK, so we've now got uh, a load more objects. OK, so we've, we've got, uh, apart from the 7.4 and the 5.9, the, the, apart from these two, which were the original objects, OK, we've now got um, a couple more. So let's have a look at what they are. So we can do, again, we can do this cat file, uh, pretty print. And we'll do it with the one zero B four. Okay. And you okay, so so what that is, okay, is 
uh, if you look at the type okay that is a tree object so a tree object is kind of like a directory it's not quite as we'll see in a second uh, maybe um, but it basically it groups together files in a directory um, and if we look at the other one oops. Uh, what was it three zero uh, five five okay now that you can see is the commit okay so there's my commit comment in it and you can see it's pointing to this tree object which is the one ob4 the one we just looked at okay so the commit contains um the, or points to the tree object and the tree object in turn points to the files in the directory so far so good Let's now make an edit to our div.txt, okay, and we'll add uh, four and five on there. Okay, so we've made one change. So we can see that that file has changed. So we'll add that. Okay, now then, you'll notice what happened. We got a new object, this AACB, okay. So we can do... Um, Uh, uh, so that's the AACB. Okay, which has now got one, two, three, four, five. You'll notice we haven't yet created a new tree object. That's because we haven't committed it. Okay. So uh, if we now do the commit, uh, and we'll call it second. Okay, and again, we've now created new objects. Okay, so we've now got this B8BF object. Okay, so we can, oops, we can see what was it. Uh, was it B8BF? No, B8BF. Oops. Okay, and that's the commit. And it's pointing to this new object, which is the new tree object, 9E65. Okay, and you can see that what that's doing is it's pointing to the new text.txt. But importantly, it's pointing to the same version of T1 because that hasn't changed. So the 3774 is still valid. Um, so we don't need to replace that. So come back to the original question the question was does it store a snapshot or does it store just the differences well the answer is both um, the commit tree object okay is the start of a, a structure which contains the snapshot of everything in your project at the time you snapshot it okay uh, plus whatever was taken out of the index file um, and the uh, uh, but it doesn't store differences in the sense of individual files. It, it literally takes a snapshot of the entire file. Okay, so files always create new file object blob, blob objects, okay, which are the ones we saw in the object uh, directory. When you do a commit, at the very least, it needs uh, the tree object to, to gather together the root of the files, and uh, the commit then points to that. And the tree object will reuse any objects blob objects from files that um it, it already knows about okay yeah anyway that's a quick tour hope that helped